but actually it was because of him that everything started to change with our family, with our faith and everything. Really? How'd that happen? So about, what was it? I graduated, I graduated college in 2016 and I started working. He was in, he was at U of H downtown, I think. Uh-huh. Um, and he, he started, he had taken his faith more seriously when we were at St. Lawrence. I just remember him being more, he would pray more often and, and he had Gabe Castillo, who I know came on the show a couple, you know, a, few, a couple months ago. He had Gabe Castillo, well, we both had him as a teacher. I had him his first year, I was in eighth grade as a math teacher. But Gabe never taught math. He would just talk about praying the rosary and wearing the brown scapular and, uh-huh. and all this, uh, which had a big impact on us. Uh, but he actually taught Adrian religion class. Oh. And he had a huge impact on Adrian. And so Adrian, I mean, he even recounts now how in eighth grade when he was about, or maybe seventh or eighth grade when he was about 12, he realized he might have a vocation to the priesthood. Like he was able to kind of like see that, that oh. early on. And so when he, led, when, when he kind of followed me away, he was, he was leaving that right behind kind of in a sense. Uh huh. However, probably in 20, I think it started in 2016 for him. He started to kind of have a reversion back to the faith. Um, he, some things happened in his life that made him realize how important the faith was uh-huh. and how we should, why it's so important, why we should live that life. Um, and it really picked up for him when he reached back out to Gabriel, maybe 2018 or t- end of 2017 and said, Hey, I, I think I need to discern the priesthood. And so Gabe was oh. crucial in helping him discern. Um, so this was before you. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty, pretty crazy. And and it was really, you know, Gabriel's a very strong Marian devotion. And very uh-huh. strong might be an understatement. But <laughs> but he, he it was huge for us because he gave that to my brother, and my brother totally bought in. Um, mm-hmm. and Mary really brought him back to her son, as she always does. And so he really started just going all in on his faith, praying the rosary every day. And I would see, and I was working at this time, but I was hesitant to to do all of that because I I wanted to live my life. I thought I was having a good time. And what were you doing? What just was, I mean, I was working, but like I was living the same lifestyle I had in college. So uh-huh. on the weekends, I would just go hang, you know, go out with my friends. And, and that your, was just, your job. It was so my first job was working as a sales associate for a freight forwarding company. Okay. So we shipped cargo internationally, um, and and I wasn't working as hard as I should have again. Cause again, like just my whole life, I wasn't, wasn't disciplined, you know, wasn't living, living the faith out. Um, just checking the boxes. Just checking the boxes, you know, trying to get by, mm-hmm. um, which is just a miss, you know, and then that's when I started to realize I was miserable, right? Like that's when I started to realize I'm not happy. Um, these things the world has told me and I've done for the last, what, eight, nine years of my life can't uh-huh. make me happy. And I was finally starting to realize that, um, which was hard. Um, but, but so that, that realization that I wasn't happy and I was kind of miserable, my brother saw that. Right. And so he started kind of like push me. He's like, Hey, you should uh, start going to mass every Sunday. You should start going to confession. Uh, you should start praying the rosary. And so he would ask me to pray the rosary with him. Uh huh. And I couldn't really say no to that because it's hard to come up with a justification <laughs> and not pray the rosary. Yeah. Um, and he knew that and, and us being so close, it was like, okay, I'll pray with you. And I, I think the first two years or year and a half after college, I lived at home uh-huh. with him and my mom. Um, and so I gradually started to, yeah, okay, I'll pray with you. Okay. So you weren't going to mass even every Sunday, huh? Oh, no. I mean, college that I wasn't doing it during college. When I graduated and started working, I went, I went more often because I was at home. So the family would go, but I wasn't going every Sunday. And, okay. I, and I wasn't. I wasn't buying in, right? I was going because the family wanted me to go, and that, that was about it. Okay. Um, I, knew, I knew at the very least, right? And I thank St. Lawrence for this. I thank Gabe for this, teaching us this early on. Like, I shouldn't go receive the Eucharist because I'm in a state of moral sin because of the life oh. that I'm living. So I okay. at least knew that. And so I wouldn't, you know, I'd go to Mass and I wouldn't receive. Okay. Um, so at least there was that. But I wasn't willing to go to confession, you know, consistently to try to, like, work through these, these sins that I was dealing with. Oh. So, But again, Adrian started to, to get me to pray the rosary with him. And um, so I gradually started doing that. Um, and that was about beginning of 2018. And then I moved into my own place. Uh, but he, but I got an apartment near my office and also near St. Teresa's in Sugarland, where Adrian had started going because Gabriel worked there as a youth minister. Okay. So, so we would go there every Sunday. Um, and that, and he would start to, he started getting me to go to mass. And I and started going to St. Teresa's. It was a, St. Teresa's was different for me um, because the, just the liturgy, 
it's a more traditional service and I had never yes. experienced that before. And so it kind of caught me off guard, but uh -huh. at the same time kind of was intriguing. I was like, I've never seen this before. What's going on here? What, you know, what, what is this? So we started to go there almost every Sunday. And again, I wasn't receiving, but now that I'm going every Sunday, I had the urge, I think Christ, Jesus was putting the urge in my heart, like, okay, you want to receive the Eucharist. Chipping away at that wall chipping that you had away, built. Yeah. Chipping away. 